Hi again. I am so excited to be here today with KJ Hayes from the Communications Board. Soon you should be getting your ministry funding campaign letter and pledge form in both your email and hopefully snail mail as well. Um, we are working this year to try to make it a little bit easier and a little bit quicker to get that pledge form filled out and we would love for you to return them just as soon as you can. kind of a holistic approach to the messaging we're putting out into the world and to each, to the congregation, to each other. So that is something as kind of physical and concrete as whether like our fonts are all matching up in our brochures and our all of our whatever we put out in the world, ads, whatever, to more like are we taking a step back and looking at big picture items like wait is this whatever part of what we're doing right now fitting with our overall brand brand in a church setting is kind of the heart of our spirit if you could put your mission into just a really simple wording that's what it is it changes and grows over time but the heart of it we've mostly used the funding for Getting the word out for ad advertising is the main reason, but there's a lot of reasons that's important besides just getting the word out. Saying that we're here, being a part of downtown, our kind of Christians, our kind of faith exists and we're here. It's kind of a dance between outreach and connection, keeping us connected with our community, with each other. Um, we also were in the middle of talking about first impressions with our church, where we, when you walk into the church, what do you see? So um, we've thought about that on a wider scale now. When you log on to Facebook Live, what do you see? If you're only coming here once, what do you see? So if you notice things like signs like Black Lives Matter or um, signs that say no matter who you are or where you are on life's journey, or rainbows in the sanctuary, making an art, art that shows our values is part of communicating who we are. And, but that goes for not only in the sanctuary, it goes for online and on our website. So the pandemic has really made us had to think broader in that sense. When, when I commit to giving money to something, it's usually because I want to make sure it continues to exist or thrives more or grows more so I want to be a part of something and uh, that is true with get when, when I pledge to the church I being part of the board has helped me see directly how even small amounts can really add up and contribute to something bigger and more meaningful and at its best, church is, it gets to your heart and it gets to the wider world. Um, so if we just stayed in, in our little insular building or our metaphorical <laughs> building, or we, I don't think we'd be serving um, God's call to us. So it's important that we reach out. It's important that we push ourselves to communicate with the wider community, to stay a part of the wider community. We're not called to co always cocoon. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then a very important question. If the communications board had an animal mascot, what would it be? Yeah, to me, I think um, the, the, the one that resonates with me that we talked about this on the board, actually. We had a really fun discussion about it, but the one that kind of is, stood out to me is the idea of the seal or the um, sea lion that would be like, erp, 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 like clapping its hands, making a sound, um, but also active, busy, getting things done. That's what really... <laughs> That's the one that I'm remembering the most from our discussion. I love it.